Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, and again, I do my videos in my jammies on the weekend. I'm not going to show you that part. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to try a new experiment. Um, as you know, on my website, I have structure paste, and it comes in many different colors. This one is uh, uh, white silver. So I'm going to try to create this texture along the geode mold and see how that goes. I think I'll try a different stick. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. I thought it would be fun to get a little texture around the edges to look like a real geode. I don't think you have to be precise with this because it's texture and it doesn't have to be perfect I can clean up these edges in here when I'm done sorry about my voice I'm still still a little sick it's been four weeks now um, it's getting better but my voice has suffered from it so Probably when I'm done with this, I'll probably think of a, an easier way of doing this. But I've been wanting to get this texture paste out and show it off a little bit. Um, I have two other pieces that I'm working on. So hopefully I'll get those done this weekend. I started the video on that one, but... You have to do it in steps to let the paste dry. So, hopefully I get those done this weekend. I sure hope this works. We'll see. think if this works I might try all oh, that um, gold golden gold paste I forget the exact name for it I have some upstairs that I have to try out the one that gr uh, dries real pretty gold I'll think of what the official name of it is probably at the end of this video and link it in the website or on the video, sorry. I still get flut uh, fluttered with my words sometimes. Comes with old age. I think I'll come over here and give it a little more on this edge because it's thinner. And again, you don't have to be too pretty with this because a geode, a geode's little crusty part on the outside doesn't, isn't perfect, you know? It kind of has a texture to it, so... Alright, so I am going to clean up the edge a little bit. Just 
rub the stick over it. That's pretty easy. wipe out just a little bit of this. Boy, some of this has already hardened. And it's only been a couple minutes. So, that's kind of cool. I won't have to wait long. Maybe finish these up later. Or this, I should say. I'm only going to test one. And if it works, I'll make all set. Alright. I think that looks pretty good. So I decided to come in and clean off some of the glitter that is in this structure paste. I actually had some pigment on the end of this silicone tool and I was going to scrape some of the stuff off and got some of this pink pigment but not to worry. We just can clean that up with a little bit of alcohol on the end of your paper towel. Super easy. Okay, I think that looks good. My uh, desk lamp here has a, a heat bulb in it as well. So it has both options of lighting and heating. And so I just have this set under the heat part and I'll come back in about 20 minutes to see if it's dry good morning everybody this is Lara with Lara's Art Corner hey I just wanted to share um, a product with you that I just received yesterday in the mail I was very excited to get it um, this is from Eco Art and my friend Gabriella started this company up and she's making these beautiful silicone mold our uh, cups and this will help our earth of course by using these um, this is the whole set and so these are the little one ounce cups these look like they probably hold 12 to 16 ounces These little guys here look like they hold about 8 ounces each. These measuring cups, this one here holds 16 ounces. This one holds, which is 2 cups. This one holds 8 ounces, which is a cup. But you could actually mix a little bit more in there. There's still some more head space at the top of those cups. Um, but what really, really has got me is, look at these stir stick covers. Isn't that amazing? Can't wait to try those out. It comes with two. So, and it comes with some more stir sticks, which are tongue depressors. So anyway, um, I will link her information in the description along with um, the promo code to use to order them. Um, very excited to try this product out. I love silicone. Nothing sticks to it, so it's great. So, there you go. Isn't that nice? Oh, and the price is going to be $29.99 for the whole set. For everything here. Just think of all the money that you spend on solo cups. And those cups that you mix resin in. And the, the little medicine cups. I, I bought those off of eBay even in a bulk form and still paid quite a bit. 
just you know just think you're gonna be saving all that money and like be using these so of course if you're doing a huge uh, project you'll have to use the the larger containers but anyway um, all her information will be included in the description thank you have a great day everybody it's Sunday morning and um, I'm going to go ahead and see if this molded okay to see if the structure paste worked well oh I wasn't sure if this was going to work so this was a big experiment so I hope it's pretty it's kind of cool on the back side of it. You can see the shimmer of the gold. Let's see what the front looks like. Hmm. Well, that's different. It looks nice with the structure paste around the edges. I'll have to do a little sanding here. Uh, I'm showing the sanding part because someone had asked me if I could show this. Usually when you sand these, you don't have to sand much. And I usually hold it at, at a slight angle um, just to get the edges. I don't know if you can see that very good. Because it usually just comes up a little bit. Because you don't want to sand off the pretty shiny stuff here. So just around. Because you just get a very slight ridge here. And I said in a previous video, this only takes about 20 seconds. And it's smooth. So Plus you're going to have the bumpers under there. So... Um, with this, it does have the structure paste on it, so, and look, that's very smooth. Now this one came, was on top of the mold a little bit, so I'm going to shave that a little bit there. Only part where it went over the mold. Well, now that I know this is going to work... I'm going to try some other structure paste with it. I work at a school with kids. Um, I'm a paraprofessional, and I work with the teachers with and also students that have autism. 
So I usually at Christmas time like to give them little gifts that I make. And that's the teachers and sometimes the students too. Um, they like getting little gifts like this. So this one has a little bit of bump on the edge here, so I will shave that a little bit. And there you go. That's just some of the structure paste coming over from where I sanded it. Well, that's really cool. I would have done this design a little bit different, but um, knowing what I know now, I will do some more of these. You could also um, coat these in another clear coat if you want. What do you think? I think it was a successful geode coaster. I think what I'll do is, this one I didn't. This was just a regular uh, resin geode mold. So I think I'm just going to try to see if I can put this structure paste. I think it was easier to do it while it was in the mold. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on now. Yeah, definitely easier to do this structure paste. And I'm sorry about my voice. I'm still getting over a nasty virus that I caught. But um, definitely this is much easier to just do it in the mold before you put the resin in and let it dry. So... Once this structure paste um, hardens, you can sand this as well if you if you get too messy. I think what I'll do is I'll scrape some of it off after I get it all on there. See, I got a little bit there. Just take it off. And the thing about geodes, everybody knows about geodes or rocks, they have this kind of crusty um, shell around the outside. So, to be honest with you, you don't have to worry about them being too messy because it it's kind of the way they are. And if you can see that little border there. Those are cute. Okay, so I got this done. It's very wet. And 
I am just going to clean up the back side of it with my fingers so that it's got a flat edge on the bottom. And I will just let this dry. Well, there you go. Okay, and now I am going to put the little dots on the back got these off Amazon they're clear and you just stick them on pretty easy and there you go that's the back side it would have been kind of cool to be the front side. But anyway, there you go. And here are the silicone cups that I got from, I'm not sure if it's called Eco Art or Echo Art. Um, I believe it's Echo Art. But this stuff just peels right out. And I'm sure I could just run these under some soapy water. Look at that. Oh, a little bit of um, fun just peeling the stuff off. I guess I could have wiped them all out with alcohol when I was done, but I had so much going on yesterday. That I didn't have time to do that. But yeah, all this just peels right off. Um, covers and cups are amazing. Just comes right out. So I'll just wash these in some soapy water. Nope. Squish them up a little bit too. There you go. I actually marked these yesterday because I wanted to do two ounces in here because these are one ounce cups. So I, I put little marks on there for two ounces. I didn't want to use one of the big ones just for two ounces. So See, it just peels right out. Okay, so I just ran upstairs and um, poured a bowl of soapy water and cleaned these moles out. I usually, I just used my hands and literally five, five minutes and I was done. So, and here you go, all clean again. Um, you should really do this with any of your silicone molds. Not saying you have to do it every time you use them, but um, every so often you should give them a, a soap bath. And you should always be gentle. Um, you don't want to use any scratchy pads or anything like that to clean them out. I, d I literally just used my hands and my, my thumb and my four fingers mostly. So there you go. I guess you could use a sponge if you wanted to. I just... Like I said, I just dipped them in a soapy bath and um, used my fingers to get the rest of the resin out. I got, of course, the big stuff out first. So 
So there you go. All clean and ready to go for next time. Thanks, everybody. One last thing about um, the silicone stick cover. Um, this was the actual stick that I used. It's brand brand new still. So you'll be saving on buying these as well. But you get them in the kit. Let's see, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you get 24 plus the two that came in here. So that's a pretty good deal. And also, if you go to the website, um, these things are sold individually. So you don't have to get the whole set. I like the whole set. Um, but you can also... I must have a cup that I didn't wash out yet. So... You get all of this plus another one of these for twenty nine ninety nine. It's a good deal. And again, I think if I was going to order some more things, I think I'll go and order some more of these, so I have more because I usually use more than two colors. All right, there you go. Have a great day.